Hey guys, so the Oscar nominees were announced today, and I am reading the list, and so far I already have something to be very mad over. Um, first of all, I know that the Oscars, you know, it's, oh, it's 11-11. Anyway, the Oscars, you know, it's great to get an Oscar, it's the best award you can get, you know, if you make movies. And, you know, it's not the end-all, be-all of somebody's performance, you can still, you know, not everybody deserves it, whatever. But, I just think that this is very wrong. Very, very wrong. I wanted Andrew Garfield to win this award. I didn't even worry about him getting nominated. And he's not even nominated? He's not nominated for Best Supporting Actor at all. Okay. Mark Ruffalo for The Kids Are Alright, nominated for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor, is... is just the most ridiculous thing when Andrew Garfield should be nominated, not even nominated, should win the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, he's not even nominated, but Mark Ruffalo for The Kids Are Alright is nominated. Did you guys see that movie? It was a good movie. It was, you know, I don't think it deserves Best Picture. I think Annette Bening was fantastic, so she deserves, you know, to be nominated. But, and Josh Hutcherson, you know, is very good to look at. The only reason that The Kids Are All Right is getting nominated for Best Picture is because of the fact that they're lesbians. There is no other, you know, the movie was not that great. Not that great at all. If they didn't nominate it, it would be homophobic, you know. So, you know, it was a good movie. It was certainly not the best I've seen in 2010. Andrew Garfield was fantastic in The Social Network. He should have won the Academy Award, let alone been nominated. So that is such a disaster for me. That is so wrong. Thankfully, uh, Mila Kunis did not get nominated for Best Supporting Actress. And I, I personally think that anybody who told her, like on talk shows or something, like that would insinuate that she would be nominated, did her a disservice. Because if somebody doesn't deserve it, you shouldn't, like, just because the movie and Natalie Portman is getting a lot of Oscar buzz doesn't mean that she did anything worth getting an Oscar for, so that was just silly. Too much, too much hype over that. Um, best animated feature film I can tell you right now is going to go to Toy Story 3. It's not even competition. I find it really interesting that Black Swan is not nominated for Best Makeup. There are only three movies nominated for Best Makeup and Black Swan is not one of them. It's kind of weird. So yeah, that's, that's that. I am very, um, upset. Very upset and angry that Mark Ruffalo does not deserve to be nominated for Best Supporting Actor at all. I didn't even think of him being nominated. Was he nominated at the Golden Globes? I don't know, but I hadn't even thought of it. Andrew Garfield deserves to be in there. Andrew Garfield deserves to win. Andrew Garfield was better than Jeffrey Rush. He was better than all of the other people in the category. So this really sucks and it's not fair to Andrew Garfield. That doesn't mean that he was not better than everybody else because he was and the Academy Awards are not noticing that. So... That's their loss, because he was fantastic. Um, and he's so brilliant in that movie. So, that's my thoughts on that. I wasn't going to make a video about this, but the fact that he's not even nominated is insane to me. So, there you go. Um, yeah, comment below what you think, and um, thank you for watching.